Hi everybody, I hope you are doing well and you stay warm wherever you are. Um, I want to share with you today, being cozy by the fireplace, I made um, meditation and some things uh, came up to me and I would like to share with you. I actually made some notes so I don't forget to say whatever I was thinking in my head because sometimes I keep on talking and then I finish and then it won't come, come out and then, okay, I should say that and it's too late. So today I want to share with you that what I saw during the meditation, a vision, that we are, because uh, I keep on talking about energy, so I want to uh, talk about that. Um, I saw that we are connected with creator or we call it the source with energy cord um, and how I envision it that it's like a umbilical cord um, babies are connected with the mother so I could see it that it's like that cord we are connected we're just not able to to see it um, in a physical way but it's there and often we just for Getting that it's there because we are getting distracted with the human things. We are busy. Um, we were sent to uh, the earth to experience a um, human life, and uh, with all the things happening here, we are just getting distracted. And we, during the life, we keep on forgetting that connection more and more. Um, and I think our ancestors, ancestors uh, were more connected because we're less distracted with the things um, going on. We have much more things right now. We are more busy, mm, too many things uh, going on, too many information, and they were more free that way, and they were more connected with that uh, source energy, and they were more aware that exist. Um, that's why uh, we had that information the hundreds of years ago about all the energy systems in our body and about God and about that energy, about energy healing and all those things. Um, and it's been there for many years ago, even thousands of years ago. Um, and why we not believe in it? Because traditional medicine came and we cannot prove it scientifically? No. When you think about traditional medicine, it's, um, it's been here for a shorter time than that older stuff. So, that, I don't, it's still value, but I think we just have to go back to that connection too. Um, think about it because that energy cord we can just go back, connect it, and we can utilize that energy that comes from. It's like a baby um, get nutrition from that umbilical cord from mom. We get get lots of good things from that energy. We can heal ourselves. We can understand lots of things. We can get lots of good information. Um, so I think we can. I think we can connect it, uh, just being not busy, to the meditation, and there are like many other things you can do it to stay and be more aware about connection. Um, and for all, what I want to say also, that through that energy cord, we are getting information. It's basically, we are getting code of life from there. Um, like we are getting how we are created because there's information, there's a code in DNA, our DNA, there's many coded information there basically for how for any process in our body, for how to, how body can function, how we can be alive. Um, but where that information came from. 
it wasn't created by itself. It didn't create it by itself. So all that information came from the creator through that energy code. Um, because somebody had to give all that code, all that information, so we are alive, so we are here. Um, and it's no coincidence that the first organ in our body uh, that it's, crea it's created, it's heart. Because how I see it, uh, that energy cord is connected to the heart. It's basically like it's attached to a heart. That's why heart is really first organ, so that all the very basic spark that bring us to life um, goes to the heart. So it's start beating, keep on pumping, keep on bringing up that energy that goes to the other organs that can keep them functioning. Um, and that's um, also, um, we often say that we shouldn't listen to our heart. Many times somebody says to you, or you just say to yourself, like, okay, I'll, if I don't know, I'll just listen to my heart. Um, so uh, we always say that we want to listen to our inside voice. And I think that's the thing too, like that's not coincidence we keep saying that because uh, that information comes from the heart. Uh, so, so it should be our first source. So we should listen what comes to the heart from the source, from that energy core to the heart, and we should um, listen. And of course, you're gonna say that the brain is really important, right? Um, the brain, um, yeah, of course, it's a big computer that uh, have a major function. But what the brain uh, is, um, how I see it, uh, it's to process. The brain uh, is to process that information that comes to our heart. Um, that's at least how I see it. And that's what came for me for the meditation today. Um, and let me know what you're thinking, how you see it. Um, thank you for listening. I hope you can share that with video of other people and let's create our high vibe community. Thank you so much. Bye for now.